This is Hans, W1JSB with Radio Set Go. Uh, I haven't made a video in quite a while. A lot has happened in the past year or so. Uh, I'm living in a new home QTH in Canterbury, New Hampshire. Uh, settling in and getting my shop um, all set up here. And I've been working on some radio projects. I have the KX2 conversion that I've done, which I will be uh, presenting more about later. And we'll be offering um, conversion kits eventually after I do a couple more um, conversions here in the shop. So if anyone's interested in that, please contact me uh, through my website, radiosetgo.com. Uh, this is the radio I just finished up. And I'm going to show you now. This is uh, the Mountain Topper. 3B, it's a three band QRP CW transceiver uh, offered by LNR Precision, but it's the radio itself is a Steven Weber KD1JV design, very similar uh, to the ATS 3B, which I have here. Uh, it just doesn't have the band modules, it has the three bands built in, and you switch between them with the three switches. Uh, so, this is built into a a watertight outdoor products uh, clear case so you can open up here um, go over the basic functions here of what I've added uh, has an audio amplifier uh, switch potentiometer so this powers the transceiver and you turn that uh, and I have a jack here for an external key audio output for headphones and the charging jack. This is a battery only radio. So you use the supplied charger to charge up the internal battery. And there is um, inside here, since it is clear, I didn't have space on the front panel, but I did include a um, voltage and current meter. So you can see that it's a little hard to see right now just because of the glare, but um, once you start transmitting, it will draw enough current to activate the backlight. Right now it's only drawing 45 milliamps, which is pretty awesome. So this is a very energy efficient transceiver. Um, obviously it has the built-in speaker. Um, BNC jack for the antenna, which I'll connect right now. And... I will switch over to a dummy load so I can transmit with a touch keyer. Oh, this I send backwards usually, so I have this key, the keys set up in the correct orientation for the customer, so this is a little awkward for me, but Okay, I did it. That was very strange, but as you can see, the uh, backlight for the battery indicator has illuminated. Um, radio puts out close to five watts, which I think is good and typical. And drawing uh, under 600 milliamps, so I'm I'm impressed with that. That's very good. Um, Basic functions of the mountain topper. Uh, I won't go into those a whole lot, but the, the um, frequency is changed here with the momentary. Oops. Sorry. If you if you press this once quickly, it'll uh, give you your current uh, free operating frequency. And the up and down are these two on on the right. So you can hold them down to sort of uh, scan through a little bit more quickly or you just press and release to do a slower increment. Uh, changing the frequency or the band rather you use these switches they all need to be in the same uh, position either right middle or left so that uh, is 20 meters on the right 30 in the middle and 40 on the left and that's also announced through uh, uh, two, three, or four on the uh, LED segment display and 
enunciated in CW. So I'll go back to 20 meters since that's the antenna I have. And I'll go back, oh, coax number two. And let's see, what frequency are we on here? Um, through the combination here, you can do this. The left two keys, the first, the leftmost, and then the next one to the right. And then you can do a direct frequency entry. So if I wanted to go to the bottom of the um, CW uh, portion of the band, at least for general privileges, I would go do uh, T for zero and then two five. And then, oh, sorry, I messed up. I want to do, I didn't send that right. So let me try again. I think that's right. That's right, okay. So now I'm gonna uh, start uh, tuning up the band from there, see if we can hear anything. It's a little, um, you have to be kind of patient with this radio, but it's a minimalist and efficient and tiny. Uh, the previous design, the ATS-3B, a lot of people would build those into Altoid tins, so that gives you an idea of how small they are. And this, the board is the same uh, size. Oh. I don't know if I was holding the button in enough. So, I heard a signal there. I don't know where it went. Let's see what frequency we're on. Okay, let's keep going up. I don't think the band is very active today, obviously. Almost back to the QRP frequency, so let's send QRL, see if, the, if this is open, and I'll send CQ. Oh, sorry, I can't send very well with it backwards. I'm going to turn the radio, send this way. Didn't really expect much, but it's worth a try. Anyway, that's a basic overview. Um, has a 2.2 amp hour, 12 volt lithium ion rechargeable battery installed. Um, everything's nicely secured. The um, it has the standoffs that are holding the uh, panel in very securely at the right height. Uh, everything is in place very well. Um, I did use some tape, uh, double-sided uh, industrial strength uh, adhesive tape uh, for the battery and the battery monitor, but that holds it in place very well. You can really shake it around to make sure nothing is going to get loose if you take this in a backpack. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, be sure to uh, check out my website. I'm redesigning that at the moment. I will be posting more information about the KX2 there, um, including ordering information. So be sure to uh, subscribe to my newsletter. I haven't sent out much with that yet, but I will be making more announcements and offering different deals and so forth. So once again, that's at radiosetgo.com. All right, 7-3. W1JSB out.